Heidi, hi. Um, Easter Sunday five years ago, I was still married at the time, and my wife and I went to the cinema to see The Passion of the Christ. I was interested to see the movie because of the attention to detail that Mel Gibson had been purported to uh, put into it, you know, the languages being the way it was and everything else like that. And I thought, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll have a look at it and uh, see if it uh, lives up to the hype. And uh, also, just from a sort of scholarly point of view, to see someone's interpretation of what things might have actually looked like in a realistic, uh, you know, supposedly not too dramatized um, effort. Well, obviously, The Passion, if you've seen it, is a, is, a, is a brutal movie, and it's meant to be so, because what happened to Jesus, if it ever really happened, of course, was incredibly brutal. Anyway, um, after me and my missus got out of the cinema, um, we were accosted by an um, evangelical Christian woman, and uh, she comes scooting up to us, and she says, How'd you like the movie? And I said to her, Oh, I thought it was really interesting, you know. Um, very well made, um, obviously a bit hard to watch in parts, but it's meant to be. And she goes, isn't it amazing what he did for us? And I said to her, "What? who did for us? And of course she meant Jesus, and she said so. And I'm like, well, you know, you might want to think that he did that for you, and that's your prerogative, but that's not what he did for me. And uh, she asked me if I hadn't heard the message of Jesus and if I didn't understand that he died on the cross for our sins and haven't I read my Bible and so forth. And I stopped her in the middle of a sentence and I said, yes, well, I've read all of the New Testament and a lot of the Old Testament, as well as other holy books from different parts of the world, whether it's the uh, Bhagavad Gita or the Koran, uh, Upanishads, uh, Pali scriptures from Buddhism, etc., etc. I've done quite a lot of study as regards spirituality and religion. Anyways, I told her about this and she said, God, you must be really confused then. Uh, because I'd read so many scriptures, she thought that maybe perhaps I didn't really have a clue what I was talking about. Now, that's a bit of a strange attitude. Uh, you know, it seems to me the more information one has, the more qualified one is to one's opinion. Um, if you limit yourself to one book, and especially if that book is the Holy Bible, um, what right have you got to even judge other scriptures if you've never read them? I find it appallingly uh, arrogant. Uh, on her part, and I said so, and the conversation started to decrease from that, or deteriorate from that moment. Um, she then went on to say about, uh, you know, the suffering that Jesus went through, as was depicted in the movie, was brutal, and that I was dishonoring Jesus and that suffering by not accepting him into my life, that uh, effectively Jesus wasted his time on me uh, for going through what he went through. If I'm not going to be open enough or courteous enough or whatever, I guess, to, um, to embrace uh, Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Well, I didn't tell her that years before I had embraced Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior and that my spiritual path took me away from the Christian faith. Um, and uh, I suppose nowadays I'm uh, more rightfully described as an atheist. But uh, anyway, there's other videos I've already done that go into that. I'm not really talking about that right now. Where I'm going with this, though, is her attitude and the attitude of a lot of Christian people when they say what Jesus did for you. And I explained to her that I said, I don't want, supposing that there is uh, such a thing as a spiritual accountability and that you have to meet your maker at, in, um, as, a, as a precursor to your final destination in an afterlife. I don't want the death of Jesus Christ as a stain against my soul. I would not have put him through it if I was there. I would much rather have tried to uh, shout at Pontius Pilate for him to get released. <laughs> uh, for example, um, I don't want the death of Jesus uh, as a stain on my soul if I had a soul. And I can't imagine why Christian people are happy to say, well, Jesus, thank you for doing what you've done. Uh, saves me the trouble. I like to think that if there is such a thing as Judgment Day, I would stand before the Holy and say, God, I take responsibility for everything that I ever said and did. Do as you will. And you know what? I tend to think that there, if, if there was a God, and if God had any sense of justice, he would take that approach and say, you know what, Paul? That's the first time anyone's ever said that. Welcome aboard.